everyone, welcome to IT Projects Ideas. In this video, I am gonna make a smoke and gas detector using Arduino. We have used the MQ2 gas sensor module to detect smoke and carbon monoxide concentrations present in air. MQ2 is a versatile sensor that can detect LPG, smoke, alcohol, propane, hydrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide, etc. This makes the MQ2 gas sensor module an excellent choice for building an indoor air quality monitoring system, a breathalyzer, or an early fire detection system. This project has an OLED display to display the smoke and carbon monoxide concentration in ppm. Here we have three push buttons. Among them, the first button is used to turn on and off the alarm system. The second and third buttons help to switch the monitoring screen between smoke and carbon monoxide. First, let's see how this project works. The sensor detects smoke and carbon monoxide values and sends it to Arduino. Arduino then processes these values and displays these values on the OLED display. It also checks if these values are above safe level, then it sends a command to the buzzer and red LED. Then the buzzer starts alarming with the flashing LED. It is a very easy to build but very useful project. So without further ado, let's make this project. If you have not subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we upload a new video. These are all the components that are required for making this project. Arduino Nano MQ2 gas sensor OLED display Red LED 3 push buttons, breadboard or 0 PCB. This is the circuit diagram of this project. Here, I have interfaced MQ2 sensor analog pin A0 pin with A0 pin of Arduino. BCC and GND are connected to the 5 volt and GND pins of Arduino respectively. After that, I connected the I2C OLED BCC pin to the 3.3 volt pin of Arduino and its ground pin to ground. It's the STA pin to A4 pin of Arduino and it's the SCL pin to A5 pin of Arduino. After that, I connected an LED anode pin to D13 pin of Arduino and it's cathode pin to ground. Now, I connected the buzzer positive pin to D2 pin of the Arduino and it's negative pin to ground pin. Lastly, I have connected three push buttons to the D3, D4 and D5 pins of the Arduino where all other pins are connected to the ground. To test the project, you can use breadboard assembly. But if you want to implement this project on your home electric board, then I recommend you to use a zero PCV or use a custom PCV to avoid any loose connections and short circuits. I have already designed a custom PCV for this project. You can go to download links to download the project cover file and order directly from PCBWay.com. Because PCBWay is one-stop solution for all your PCB needs like PCB prototyping, SMD stencils, PCB assembly, etc. So get your first prototype PCB ready from PCBWay.com. The link is in the description below. Just click on the PCB Instant Quick tab. Then click on Quick Order PCB. Now upload your Garver file. Select your free for shipping method. And place your order. So, I have done all the connections, now let's upload the code to Arduino and test this project. So, this is the Arduino code for the project. You can find the components, purchase links, circuit diagrams, program codes, required libraries and all other necessary details including program code explanation on our website. I will provide the link in the description below. You need to install these libraries in your Arduino ID before uploading the program code. Now select your Arduino board and its COM port. Then hit that upload button. It takes a few seconds to compile and upload the code.
So to test this smoke detector, I'm producing some smoke through this external source. As the value rises above the safe threshold, the buzzer alarms with flashing red LED as alert system. You can also turn on and off the alarm using this button. So that's all for this video. In our next video, we'll teach you to create an IoT based smoke and gas leakage detection system. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.